Welcome back friends. Thank you for joining me for this little makeover today. I feel that each room in our house creates an emotion. And whenever you walk into those rooms, it can feel cozy, it can feel inspiring, it can feel restful or relaxing, and sometimes it feels discouraging. And that is the way that our hallway was becoming. The floor had started peeling. We had mold and mildew around the light fixture from a leak in the roof. And we just needed to get that taken care of. And so it kind of snowballed into a little mini makeover. So we did some sanding, some painting, added a chair rail for character, some artwork, a new light fixture, a new rug to cover the place in the floor. And now it is a beautiful space that I can look on and feel good about. And it brings me joy instead of the negative. So I am thankful that you have joined me and I hope that it will inspire you if you have any places in your home like that, that you could tackle. So let's get started. Before we get started in the hallway, I wanted to give you an update on the curtains that I bought for the living room. I purchased some that were 100% cotton, and although I liked them, they didn't seem full enough, and the color was just a little bit off. So I ended up going with a drop cloth curtain, and I am really loving it. I thrifted a whole bag of these curtain rings for $2.50. I believe there were 15 altogether, and I ended up using five for each side, so two curtains, and I had a few left over. Now, if you have never used drop cloth for curtains before, let me forewarn you that there are two different color shades. One tends to look more gray and the other has more of a brown undertone. I made this mistake when I purchased my first drop cloths for curtains in my bedroom and learned that the brown tone matched my walls so much better. So just be aware of that when you are shopping for your drop cloths as to what color palette you need to go with. I was able to do these curtains without any sewing. They do have a seam down the middle, as you will notice here, but that does not bother me. I think it lends itself to more of a farmhouse look. But if you are concerned about the seam, I know that Amazon sells one, I believe it's Tough Boy brand, that advertises as no seam drop cloth. I washed mine first and then let them hang dry. If you want a more starched or polished look, then you could iron them, but I just hung mine up to dry, folded over the top part where the seam is on the inside, and there are my finished drop cloth curtains. And now let's take a look at the hallway. The light fixture that was in the hallway definitely needed an update. It was old and so we did replace that. My father-in-law installed our new light fixture. Here is the spot on the floor that had started to peel which started this whole little makeover. All around. Oh, right there on, on the right. So come with us and see along as we do all of these walls. One of my 
my goals for this year was to invite my children to help me more. As a busy mom, sometimes it's so easy just to do it yourself, but I want them to learn alongside me. Here's the artwork that I will be creating a little mini gallery wall with. I found these frames at World Market and they hold pictures of some of the places that my husband and I visited on our honeymoon cruise. I love these gold frames. They are metal and classic and they will also coordinate well with our new light fixture. This light fixture I thrifted when I was shopping on a mom's day out at a Habitat for $2. Let's talk about rugs now. Are you like me and you just would almost die for a genuine Turkish rug? Well, I did a lot of shopping around and of course Turkish rugs were mostly out of my price range. Besides the fact that this hallway is so narrow, I needed a rug that was two feet or shorter in width in order for it to fit in this hallway and then six feet long. And so after trying two or three different rugs, I finally landed on this one that I got from Amazon. And although it's probably not hand woven, it was made in Turkey and I am very happy with it. that I didn't end up using was this wireless picture light. I really love it and I think it would have looked nice on the gallery wall, but I was afraid that my husband would be hitting his head on it because it stuck out just a little too far. Also replace the door from the hallway going into the laundry room with a drop cloth curtain, thus letting natural sunlight into the hallway. Thank you for joining me for this little makeover today. I hope it will inspire you if you have a dark or forgotten place in your home that you could tackle and make it more of a beautiful place for you and your family. Blessings, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.